Issue 2 of Superman 78 landed this week and there's some really neat things going on in it that I want to share with you. This issue immediately tops the last issue and honestly it got me more excited for the series so let's talk about it. Off the bat we are thrown right into the Donnerverse as we see Lex Luthor making parole and his parole officer is Superman. Superman being the perfect person believes that everyone deserves a chance to turn over a new leaf and be a good guy. So he trusts Lex Luthor to help him find out who or what Brainiac is by giving him the head of the Space Terminator to investigate. We then get hit with more of the cute interactions between Clark and Lois at the Daily Planet. Even though it's only a couple of pages, there's a lot of rich characterization in here that fits perfectly in the realm of the Richard Donner Superman movie. I can literally hear the actors from the movie speaking these lines in my head and it's perfect. It's nice to see that we get more here than we did in the previous issue. We then get the Brainiac attack. The action in this is 1000 times the scope and intensity of the first issue. Brainiac was ready for a full scale invasion on Earth to get Superman. Now I don't know much about Brainiac as a character from the comics. But this book is giving him a pretty interesting motive for coming to Earth purely in search of Superman. You see, Brainiac in here sees Kal-El as an interference to the natural track of mankind on Earth and wants to remove him like flesh infected with disease from the healthy body. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but it ends on a stronger note than issue 1 ended on. Overall, this issue has gotten me way more hyped for this series as they have wasted zero time to have the confrontation between Brainiac and Superman. Given that the confrontation has happened this early on, that must mean that some pretty impressive things are going to be happening in issues 3 to 6. Unless you're bursting at the seams of excitement, I'd say maybe wait another issue or two before picking this up or wait for the trade paperback to come out. I think that so far it is going in a progressively better direction, but I'd say wait to see how the meat and cheese of the conflict is handled or dealt with before committing to it. Me personally, I'm fully invested and it's an exciting time to be revisiting the most iconic form of Superman. Have you checked this book out or are you interested in doing so? Let me know in the comments below and please give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. And I would double appreciate it if you follow me on both my YouTube and Instagram. I'd love to see you there and talk comics and movies and such. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a perfect day. Thanks.